Nespresso? No. <laughs> no. No, not not at all. Before I started in the industry, me it was ah cheaper the better. I go drink gas station coffee, and now I look back at my younger self, and I was like, you're an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's just for for me, it was lack of education. I didn't know. And then once you start, just like anything, once you start delving in to the science behind it, yeah. or just the the facts that are out there behind anything, whether it be computers, whether it be wine, there is so much more to it than just what you're tasting. So generally. For a two ounce shot, I'll shoot anywhere between the 22 to 30 second window. The, the, and it all boils down to taste. If you're too long, you start over extracting your espresso. Excuse me. And that's where you get astringencies, bitternesses. Um, and if you're too short, what'll start happening is you've under extracted. So you're sitting with such a high concentration that your acidity could be overpowering. It could be sour, it could be tart, it could be dry, unbalanced. So it's a matter of finding that sort of happy window. And a lot of it will do with your grind. Like if it's raining outside, if it was sunny tomorrow, your grinds would be way different. You're never gonna have the same grind from the start of the day as you do at the end of the day. Roasting is the exact same way. The environmental um, parameters play such a huge role in what you do that you've gotta be aware. Um, like in, uh, when I was at Salt, you literally, I would see what the moisture was doing. My curves would change from a rainy day to a sunny day just to develop the same flavor profiles. And espresso is the exact same way. 